Hello friends, welcome back and this is your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. I hope you guys are doing great. And today we are going to learn about running total in Power Query. Last week I was giving a training and this was an interesting question being asked by one of us, my student, where his question was that how can we do the running total in the Power Query? I was like, wow, that's an interesting question. And I thought why not to make a video on this one and let everyone benefit about that but i asked him that why does he need to do the running total in the power query because already we have a wonderful option available with the pivot table he has a very nice answer that there are some times where he need that data to run in the power query so it can help him with other reports to match his data so he doesn't need to work around again and again with the power query one place and then again in the pivot table so here i have it for all of you today and we will look how to do that wonderful so this is our data set over here what we have we have the dates transaction id the stores the product name and the quantity what we have sold now we would like to do the running total of all these quantities over here and these quantities should have a running total as per the date currently the date is not in the order so we are going to handle all this situation inside the power query so let us quickly jump and see to it so as usual we are going to use a simple shortcut control T to convert the data into our table range yes my table has headers wow and now we are going to give a nice name calling it as my data and we'll go to data table slash ranges we are into now power query editor we are just going to reverse this step change type and I'm going to call it as a date and the rest of the fields looks okay and this is a whole number and rest of the columns are my text so now what we are going to do is first step we are going to sort the date okay because we need our data as per the date running total then we are going to add an index column starting from one after this we are going to go to add column again and in that we are going to select the custom column and we're going to call this as running total. We are just going to write a simple formula and that formula is list dot sum open parentheses list dot range open parentheses. Now what we are going to do is that we are going to call this step so we're going to say hash added index okay and then we're going to join this quantity what we wanted to do the sum comma and we are going to say it as zero now this zero represents the starting position of that index number note my friends I cannot put an index number starting from zero because you cannot put minus one over there it will give you an error it will not work out so it cannot take the minus one so we are going to play zero then comma then my index number and we'll close the parentheses all looks okay so all we now need to do is just press ok wow here we have it our running total 10 18 25 29 I will not need this column again index so I can delete this column and we can just close and load to we're going to select the existing worksheet this worksheet we are going to paste it over here okay the query is getting loaded boom all is here wow that's cool let us check the total what is coming total 
Uh huh. We don't need this. We'll just take the sum of this one. Boom. So the last value is correct. It is 479. Let's go back here and add some more data. Take it. Paste. Right click, select the power query. I'll just prepare the shortcut over here. So I'll just hit refresh. Or you can just go to query, refresh, or you can even go to design and refresh. That's how easy it is. So now you know how to do the running total on the power query. So I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video and it will be very helpful for you. So please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and stay connected for more amazing Excel videos. Signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master.